book of Revelation is the most awesome book. It's the climax of the ages, and it's time that we understand it. Enjoy the series. Revelation, we found out, is all about Jesus Christ. It's not about the beast, but you cannot get away from it. In Revelation 16, he talks about three frog spirits, and he calls them. He says it's the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. And <laughs> Revelation is not about them. Revelation is to show us how Christ has conquered these three demonic spirits. Now, if you want to find out about the beast, we've got to go right back to the book of Daniel. When Israel was taken to Babylon, the first thing is the king had a dream. And it's amazing. In the interpretation of this dream, Daniel calls um, Nebuchadnezzar the king of kings with a small letter. But there was the statue with a head of gold, breasts of silver, thighs of bronze, and legs of iron. If we just take what the Bible says, we read over and over, God is going to rule them with a rod of iron. He says these were four kingdoms, and this was the statue of the beast. This was the image of the Antichrist. What is it? It's the systems of the world. Now, they are still there today, but if you take Bible history, that was physical history, and because of the spirit that fits in everywhere. But it's remember, Revelation is not about the beast. Now, from the beginning, God said, I'm going to put enmity between your seed and the seed of the woman. You know what he did? He actually said that I am going to take the war on for myself. So what we have here is the Antichrist seed coming into reality. And it's four kingdoms that's going to come out of the, out of the earth in succession. It was first Babylon. Then it was Medo, Persia, Greece, and then Rome. And they stood for the kingdoms of the world. And they were in preparation to take out the Messiah. Because Psalm 2 says, why do the heathen rage and the kings of the world come together? But it was a, it's a long time of preparation. In Daniel 2, we see that this was the dream that the king had and Daniel interpreted. Daniel all of a sudden has visions. And he dreams about, he was standing on the sand of the sea, and out of the sea came four beasts in succession. A lion, a bear, a leopard. And then he says, a very, very, very ferocious animal. He said, this animal had ten horns, whereof three of the horns made way for one that was very wicked. And he had big things to say against the Messiah. And... If you read the Amplified Bible, it says these are the ten kings that came from this last empire. And it's like, why don't we get it that that statue, you have to lay it down. And that statue is actually a timeline. Babylonia, Medo-Persia, Greece, and then Rome came. Listen, Jesus was born in the time of Rome. He was crucified in the time of Rome because this is a whole world that got ready in taking out the Messiah. It was a preparation. So he saw these four beasts coming out and he says, they have 10 horns. And these 10 horns are the 10 kings of that kingdom. So let's go through them. Julius, Augustus, Tiberius, then it's Caligula, Claudius, Nero, Galba, Otto and Vitalius, and Vespasian. There's the king. Now we know in the time of Augustus, Jesus was born. In the time of Tiberius, Jesus was crucified. Now Jesus was baptized in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar. Can you believe it? You've got to go look that up in Luke 3. And there we find what <laughs> we call the seven heads. Because in Revelation 13, it links up with Daniel 7. There, John was on the Isle of Patmos and he was, he was seeing this vision. He was standing on the sand of the sea. And out of the sea came one animal. <laughs> he had a mouth like a lion. He had claws like a bear. He looked like a leopard. And he was empowered by the dragon who had ten horns and seven heads. Come on, the seven heads. Now, if you go to 
Revelation 12, he says, There's a wonder in heaven, this woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and she was about to give birth. But he said, There's another wonder in heaven, and that was the big red dragon. <laughs> he says he had ten horns and seven heads. Now remember, let's go to the beginning. He said there were three frog spirits, the beast, the dragon, and the false prophet. So we've handled the beast now. We've handled the dragon, which is Satan, serpent. He says that in Revelation 12. He sits behind this beast with the ten horns and the seven heads. And then he says, there's a false prophet. Now the false prophet we read about in um, Revelation 17. And he calls the false prophet a woman. Ah, that's interesting. When the fullness of time came, God was born from a woman born under the law. Come on. Mary was a woman and the law was a woman. It was a system that was going to bring forth the Christ. Because it was all there. It was a shadow of Christ that was coming. So the system was totally infiltrated by Satan's seed. When Jesus arrived, instead of them accepting their Messiah, <laughs> he was greeted with, we're going to kill you. And he called them, you serpent seed, you vipers. And they, they of course, know about the wrath of God that was going to be poured out upon them if they don't receive it. So the first thing they did is they wanted to be baptized by John. And John said, you vipers, get out here, go bear fruit that will, that will fit the kingdom. So they totally did not accept the Christ. And instead of repenting they just went right on they allied with the system of the world to take out the christ and you know what they used the law as excuse but jesus is the end of the law to everyone that believed but they held on to the law they came to pilate and said our law says that this man must die pilate said well kill him they said no we have a law that says we can't kill him and they couldn't find any fault. Pilate couldn't find any fault. And the very law that they held on says that you will not bear false witness. <laughs> and amazingly, the Bible says they sought false witness and at the end, voila, they found two false witnesses in order to accuse the Christ and kill him. Now, this is like the very people that was to bring forth the Christ became the false prophet in that stead. Now Revelation 17 says, this false prophet is a woman that was riding the beast and on her head was the name called Babylon. Babylon, harlot of the nations, mother of harlots. She's drunk with the blood of the prophets. She's drunk with the blood of the saints. She sits on seven mountains, but it's not physical mountains. A mountain, it means a head, a ruler, a big one. That is why Psalm 2 brings us back and he says, why do the heathen rage? Why do the kings of the world come together? They want to take out the Messiah, but God sits in the heavens and he laughs. He says, I have put my son in place. In Corinthians, he says, if the rulers of this world knew, they would never have crucified the Lord of glory. <laughs>